God, lemon, your breath. When did you find time to eat a diaper that you found on the beach? Good God, lemon? Liddy, say good God, lemon. Good God, lemon. I did it, Jack. I got my dream vacation. You're on a chain gang. I'm outdoors, I'm wearing comfortable clothes, I'm gardening, and I'm learning Spanish. Vuelva tu trabajo, limona. Esa bolsa no está llena. Estoy hablando con mi amigo. De todos modos, esta es mi tercera bolsa. Grítale a Héctor. Uh, Liddy and I just went to Strawberry Fields where she spat up on a white lady's dreads. It's nice to see that we're back to our version of normal. <laughs> Jenna? Oh, Jenna, no. There you are, <laughs> bad dog. You'll go in the crate tonight. Hey, Jack. Hey, Liz. <laughs> oh, poor. Hey, guys, it's me, Tracy, the black guy from work. What are you doing? I hooked the ball to a truck on the Long Island Expressway, and Tracy Jordan does not take mulligans. Good thing you had to move out of that house. Some idiot rammed his boat that I was driving into it. <laughs> You see all the good that is in them? How much capacity for love? Yes, I know. I just need more time with you. Give me more time, Jacob! I beg of you! What is this? It's a commercial that Liz did back in Chicago. That's Liz. <laughs> Call us. We love to party. I remember that girl. She cried all day. No, this is not happening. <laughs> oh, my God. What's so funny? Oh, is that Billie Jean King? Oh, my God. <laughs> I haven't laughed this much since. <laughs> since. Since. Everybody back up. Get out of the way. He's going to jack. Goodness gracious. Oh, he's mortal. What just happened? Oh. God, Lemon, have you seen this? As I'm sure you've concluded from the headline, Don Geis' estranged son, Bertram, is suing his half-sister, Kathy, for control of the Geis family trust fund. Yeah, they could have done Geis scream, son, pay. <laughs> you know, like ice cream Sunday. This makes me sick to my stomach, Lemon. I never told anyone this. And that's why if you ask people about it, they won't know what you're talking about, because it's a secret, not because it's a lie. OK, I understand. Good. Now, here's my secret. My secret is, I'm in love with Liz Lemon. What? It's true. It was love at first sight. I ache for her sexually. How could I not? I'm entranced by those mud-colored eyes set back in that skin and her laugh. Her walk, that splay-footed walk and that whole situation right there and oh mustache oh, good god lemon good god lemon enough with the histrionics histrionics since you've known me i've been right about no less than everything always yet you persist in this impotent emotional Weltenschauung. And it's not just politics. For instance, I bet you bought those hideous shoes for some emotional reason. Every pair you buy, they give a pair to a child that was forced to work in the factory that makes these shoes. It's not great. But you know what? I'm the one who's in a stable relationship, Jack. I like my job, and I am one punch away from getting a free deviled egg at that cool new deviled egg place. So maybe you should let me rub off on you. You wish, you pervert. Sometimes when you try so hard to find love, you can't see that it's been standing in front of you the whole time. Oh, good God. <laughs> Why didn't anything ever happen between us? Good God, Lemon. You're trying to conjure my mother's ghost. You could just shake a jar of coins while praising Jimmy Carter. No, I'm not saying I wanted something to happen, but why didn't something happen? We spent a lot of time together. We've been drunk together and day drunk together and on the rebound at the same time. And also, you're kind of a slut. I did sleep with Jenna a lot during season three. If I were a different person, would you have hit on me? I understand what you're getting at, Lemon. There was a particularly youth-oriented priest in my childhood parish who went after everybody but me. Even Fat Ralph, and he ate his boogers. 
I felt so unpretty. I want to talk to you about something else. Because of my unfortunate situation with Avery, I'm alone. And I know, of course, that you're not seeing anyone. Therefore, I've decided that you and I should become friends with benefits. No, thank you, please. Aha! The only reason you would reject that offer is if you had a secret boyfriend. Right. That's the only reason. I saw you, Lemon, at the movies last night with your mouth on a man. <laughs> Why would you keep this from me after all of our time together? This is hurtful, Elizabeth. What's his name? I don't want to tell you. Why? Is it a stupid name like Dakota or Barack? His name is Chris, and I'm sorry, but for my own reasons... And reason... Chris is spelled... No H and two S's. That! Right there! That's why I didn't want to tell you, because I knew you wouldn't approve of him. Why? What does he do for a living? Chris is trying to... You can stop right there. He's an entrepreneur. He's currently meeting with investors in the hopes of starting an organic gourmet hot dog truck. I mean, I have said good God to you before, but I don't think I've ever meant it until now. Good God! I know what you're doing, Jack. You are purposely tanking the network. Good God, Lemon. What is it with you liberals and your conspiracy theories? I've got bad news for you. The CIA did not invent crack cocaine. Let's be in Mario Brothers. I couldn't do it, Jack. I just couldn't support BWL. And I'd already thrown out all my other jeans. That is the most unflattering item of clothing I have ever seen you wear. And I'm including 2008's turtleneck with smiley face vests. But I feel good. And not just because in my shorter alls I found a bag of Tastations, a discontinued chocolate hard candy, but because sometimes you gotta do the right thing, even when the wrong thing would be a whole lot easier. Die, werewolf zombie. Good God, no, this isn't about appearance, Jack. Did nothing ever happen between us because I'm not fun? Good God, Lemon. Obviously, our relationship, however you define it, mentor, mentee, sister, ploy, work oracle, is more interesting than some dating scenario. And obviously, to ruin what we have with a tawdry yet expert sexual encounter would have been a mistake. Obviously, but is it the kind of mistake that I should have made? Tracy told me I haven't lived. You're allowing Tracy to criticize your life choices? Tracy Jordan. Good God, Lemon, what's happened to you? I thought this was going to be your year. I couldn't even hold it together one week. I'm not you, Jack. I can't have a heart attack and pretend like it never happened. I can't break up with someone and immediately recover. I'm not you. I'm just me. Girlfriend, Oprah was right. People just want to be together and get free stuff. I didn't really have to bring this. Oh, my God, Tracy! Oh. Oh, my God, this thing is Good God, Lemon, you shot a black. No. No, 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 it's cool. That's his last name. You gotta be kidding me, Donaghy. First, Mr. Furley here disrespects me, and then she shoots my business manager. I got blood on my toe. He's got blood on his toe. You're making a mockery of the Source Awards. Wait till I tell Tupac about this. I didn't hear anything. Good. Get him out of here. I need regular Liz to tell that crazy bitch performer Liz to get out on stage and give me something I can try to make money off of. Please. Oh. Hey, buddy. Your hair looks nice. Don't try those tricks on me. Oh, boy. OK, I know that it's been a hard day. I could have had it all, but you had to ruin it with your thinking. Come on. You're a star. You're on top. Somebody bring you some hair. You should kill yourself. <gasps> Good God, Lemon, what is that? This is how I cry now. Ever since you made me get that off-brand eye surgery. Lemon, what have we done to you? Good God, Lemon, I just figured it all out. I'm turning around. Clear dishwashers. What? Clear dishwashers so you can see what's going on inside it. Oh, my God, yes! Do that! What would Jack say about that? He'd say, good God, Lemon. Locked and loaded. <sighs> good God, Lemon.